Hello, welcome to Dinosaurs A to Z, where we stomp through the alphabet and explore the extraordinary world of dinosaurs. I'm Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Eli Lilly and Company Extraordinary Scientist in Residence at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and I'm your guide for Dinosaurs A to Z. Today, our featured dinosaur is Edmontosaurus, with letter E. Edmontosaurus belongs to a group of dinosaurs known as the Hadrosaurs, or the duck-billed dinosaurs. Duck-billed dinosaurs? Well, this refers to the broad duck-bill-like mouth. This toothless beak would have been covered in keratinous material, like a duck's beak or a turtle's beak. This is the same tissue that makes up your fingernails, just much thicker. In fact, this duckbill-like mouth led early paleontologists to think Edmontosaurus lived in swampy waters and ate water plants, similar to some ducks today. But now we know that they lived on land, and they ate some very tough plants, like conifers and ferns. In order to eat these tough plants, Edmontosaurus had teeth located in the back of their mouths, and these teeth were continuously replaced as they were worn out or chipped. This means they grew hundreds of new teeth throughout their lives. We only have two sets of teeth. Once you lose your baby teeth, all you have left are your adult teeth. So you need to take really good care of your teeth because these are all the teeth that you're gonna grow. Edmontosaurus is a really big dinosaur, at least 39 feet long, which is about the size of a school bus. But it could have been even larger, up to 50 feet long. Edmontosaurus weighed as much as an elephant. An animal that size you would think should always walk on all fours, right? Well, this isn't necessarily true. Edmontosaurus is what's called a facultative biped, meaning it probably mostly walked or ran on four legs, but it could have also walked or ran on two legs as well. Computer models have shown that running on two legs would have been faster and more efficient for Edmontosaurus. This is really important when a Tyrannosaurus Rex is chasing you and wants to eat you for dinner. There have been several Edmontosauruses found with their skins preserved. We call these dinosaurs dino mummies. This doesn't mean that they were wrapped with cloth and preserved like Egyptian mummies. Rather, they're natural mummies, where the environment and chemistry was just right to preserve tough tissue-like skin. These mummies give us information as to what dinosaurs look like millions of years ago. Based on these mummies, we know that their skin was bumpy, similar to a lizard or crocodile today. We've also been able to find pigment preserved in their skin. This shows us that they may have had stripes on the back end. We also think that Edmontosaurus had a fleshy comb on top of their head, just like a rooster's. Edmontosaurus is an extraordinary dinosaur. You can find a skull in Science Works at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. There are more than 40 other dinosaurs that start with the letter E. Which one will be your favorite?